Music producers, let me ask you a question. Are you in fact a tight beat producer? Oh my God, Curtis, are we talking about tight beats again? Yes, let's take it for a spin. Let's talk about it. Music producers, we have talked about tight beats to the point that probably many of you are like, let's move on from tight beats. Well, I made a video about it and then people got mad because they were like, Curtis, you can't be asking questions and not answering it for us. What kind of video is this? They got angry because I simply just threw a question out there. The question was that, what's next after tight beats? I asked that question and I think that I have a few different things in my brain in terms of where it's going to go next. But that being said, I want to ask the question today to many producers and it's really inspired by me doing these critique my beats if you don't know i do a series on my youtube channel which you can check out called critique my beats and the same type of synthesizer blips this was like you're taking future bass and you're bringing it to a dirtier trap sound where once a week we'll do a live stream you producers that are out there submit your beats you go to critiquemybeats.com and you go ahead and get that information some of you even get some drum kits along with it but you get an honest critique with real constructive criticism that is here to construct something over what i'm critiquing what i mean is that i'm not going to just tell you that it's trash and then not tell you what to do with it to not make it trash <laughs> but what i do is i try to make sure that i lift you up and build up your particular business especially if you're trying to sell your beats however i'm starting to come to the realization that producers are not all built the same not every single music producer is going to find success trying to find artists that match to your beats you ever had that situation happen producers where you make this beat and you're like yo i don't know who would rap over this but it's so fire so then you start thinking like okay maybe it's a chance the rapper type beat uh, plus uh, Denzel Curry, plus um, Stephen Curry, plus, and you just trying to fit somebody to it because you can't figure out who exactly would sound well over it, that's normal. That's because that beat may not be meant for a rapper to rap over. Oh wait, what are you, what the hell are you getting at? What I'm getting at is this, not every single music producer, especially on the internet, is meant to be a type beat producer. Curtis, you speak and blast me. What the hell are you talking about? My whole catalog is tight beats. That's fine. But I'm here to tell you there are other avenues for music producers who may not necessarily want to go that tight beat route, but still be competitive from a beat selling or even a beat streaming market. And the opportunity is there. It's abundant. My thing is this. When I made that push to try to get as many producers as I could to put their music up on streaming, what I'm trying to do is make sure that you sit your music in as many situations as possible that can possibly get you paid, okay? There may be situations in which you put your music up on Apple Music and then somebody's like, man, I need some smooth instrumentals to basically help me through this studying that I have for this essay that I'm having tomorrow. I need something that's gonna help me ease my mind and then all of a sudden you make these very like pad heavy smooth maybe even like relaxation type beats and they're perfect for this individual because they're like damn i've been looking for something like this but if you were too busy trying to chase you know who who fits over smooth stuff i'm trying to chase currency currency is the rap i'm going to put attached to this you could have built a brand based upon the music that you like to make without having to worry about who would rap over it i'll give you another example at the event that i just did there's a producer that says he makes music that that's really about like, it's like really melodic, right? Really melodic music, really kind of emo music. I said, you should make a playlist right now on Apple Music and Spotify where you basically say melodic vibes for the heartbroken. Oh my God. Imagine somebody who just got their heart broken. This girl's like, hey fam, why is she talking like that? I don't know. Hey fam, um, I don't wanna see you no more because um, I like this other producer because his beats is fire. And you're like, oh girl, you broke my heart. I need some music to listen to. Guess who's gonna provide the music? Hopefully that producer that I gave the idea to make melodic vibes for the heartbroken. You may be doing that. I see some beats that I listen to. I listen to some beats on Critique My Beats and I start to see you guys are chopping in vocals and voxes because literally there's no space for the rapper to even rap over your beats. Sometimes it's not that rappers are not buying your beats because they're not good enough. Sometimes rappers are not buying your beats because there's literally no space for their vocals to fit in. You have filled that in with deep pads. You fill that in with piano solos. You fill that in with flutes you feel that in with a heavy bass and you have found no single room for the rapper to even say hey 
There's no room for that. And that's not a problem. My thing is own it and own who you are. Own your production. When you own that and you start to find other avenues, such as you got producers that do DJing, producers that play the instrumentals, producers that curate playlists, you can do this right now and start tapping into the things that there's humans out here who want your instrumentals for more than just to rap over. The time is now. You got to go create that though. And this is what I'm hoping that this particular video inspires. Every music producer is not meant to make a title beat. Your particular lane of success may actually be into sync and getting your music into commercials and getting your music into elsewhere. We joked around another episode of Critique My Beats where I was doing the voiceover like, you want a bacon western cheeseburger? You know the place to go. And then the music in the background sounded so perfect. But if you tried to put that in the context of a tight beat, it wouldn't make any sense. Why? Because an orange can only be an orange. An apple can only be an apple. A tree can only be a tree. But a human being, you have the opportunity to define what you want your particular definition to be. And I think that in that situation, if you know that you make these smooth type beats, find the lane that works for you. Create a vibe, create an environment for that vibe. Your audience will come looking for you. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com